Hi everybody, it's Scrap Nuts and I'm bringing you the video I promised um, to compare the uh, two dies that I have. Um, the little one that showed up from Allie when I, I ordered it thinking I was getting like my big one from my uh, commercial cutter, the AccuCut Grandmark. Um, I thought that maybe I was going to get to have a traveling one that was a lot lighter, but that's not what happened, which is okay because this is so super cute. And I showed you some examples, um, show you how it works. When I make these little books, even the AccuCut size, I always use heavier like chipboard that's either from the back of a paper pad or it's um, stuff that I've just ordered so that it all matches. It depends on if it's a gift or not, actually. My front and back pages, I always make, our, make sure are heavy duty, but you could do lighter weight in the middle, and then you just cover them with paper. So this little stinker, I call it my little nugget, pumpkin nugget. It is super cute, and I don't regret ordering it at all. Matter of fact, um, after I went back in to confirm my order, I noticed that um, over here in this AccuCut die book, the 3D Chunky book, they then actually showed that they had available um, the snowflake, the ornament, the snowman, and I have those books as well. So I went ahead and ordered the other ones because these are going to be super cute when we're doing swaps. So, but in doing the bigger book, I realized I thought with this, um, this book measures two by three, a smidge over two, a smidge over three. But you can do three different pumpkins. However, as I'm doing my AccuCut, I realized I thought that this was just a standalone pumpkin itself, but it's, it's actually not. You can place it on here and then you have a pumpkin with three sides or five sides. And I think that looks super cute too. But you will figure out if you haven't already. I'm, I'm a pink and uh, aqua girl. And so a couple years ago when I restored my antique camper, I was going to a festival to one of the first vintage markets. And, you know, I just couldn't do, it was supposed to be in the fall. And I just was like, I cannot do orange pumpkins with my camper. It's just not going to look cool. So that year I spray painted all my my fake pumpkins aqua and ever since then it's been a free-for-all everything's aqua 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 and i'm a big fan always of pin dot and gingham so you'll see that a lot in my work as well um but back on to this so that's how we ended up with aqua pumpkins um then the pages you know just to give you an example you can just decorate your front one i never really go all out my middle pages anyway but these are really going to be cute with the swaps so again, this one's two by three. I just thought it was crazy funny. And I don't know how it happened, but this is my AccuCut die. This book, um, well, this is the pumpkin part. I'll show you the book itself too. This book is five and three quarters tall by eight and a half wide. But literally, I'm not joking, every single one of these matches. And then we move this one and you have this one I'm not joking I was like I I thought that when I ordered it I was like man that really looks like my AccuCut die but you know I was too lazy to go get it out at the time or I was at work because when I have downtime at work is usually when I'm ordering online like a fiend so there you have it cute 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 now we all know pumpkins aren't just for Halloween anymore they're fall they're um so you can do Halloween and or fall. Um, let's see, let me get this cleared off for you before I make a big mess. Yeah, if you, like I said, if you haven't noticed, I'm a fart in a skillet, so I bounce around. So, getting back to the AccuCut book now, this book being five and three quarters tall by eight and a half, and I know you probably noticed I write, I do write because otherwise I'm when I'm using scraps, which these kind of books are good for scraps, then I don't have to keep measuring or if I don't remember it's been t you know too much time on something else and I bounce back and forth because I do have four different desks and I have a different theme work working on each desk so okay so back now to the AccuCut um, here's another example of the pumpkins the what you can do with them so this is a great tool so here was how I had had the tall pumpkin um, 
And I don't know what happened if I just, that night I was working, if I just happened to lay it down and I was like, oh my goodness, this is supposed to go on top. So that's what it looked like. I just didn't hear, we can do it this way so you get a better look. I just didn't have the stem on it. So, and it does fit perfectly. It's just that since I put the stem on this piece, it's a little lower than had I done it and put it up where it goes on top. So, but it does fit nicely if you do it that way. So you get this pumpkin, you have your jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, which this is awesome. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I already have acetate on this because you can actually make this into a cover, um, shaker card cover, because uh, I'm all about my shakers if you haven't figured that out too. And then it would just sit, sit on there. Put your double-sided tape on there and fill it and, and then finish it off. So again, like I said, with my little books, my big books, I do the chipboard on the inside, the heavier duty on the, the inside or the, the top and the bottom. The inside, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you can just do two pieces of cardstock or what have you. Um, if you are an AccuCut owner and you've got this series, um, they have all different kinds of shapes um, that you can get. But then they sell two different sets that are called album builders. And not all the pages fit with each shape, but you can, so like this one is a longer one, so you wouldn't be able to use that one. Um, you wouldn't be able to use the solid. Um, the corner would show on this one. And what I'm saying, what I mean by that is when it's set up as a page in between, it would stick out. So I personally wouldn't use that one, but it wouldn't probably bother everyone. But these are the pieces of the album builder that you can add in between your pages. So it doesn't have to be just all of this shape for a page. And then you cover both sides. Or you can even put do like we're doing our swap books and our flip books and tag books where you have different shapes in between and or pockets and envelopes and that kind of thing. And then I would finish it off with one of those. So this turned out super uber cute. I'm sure you're probably wondering about paper. Like I am a paper hoarder. I've been doing this for almost 30 years. So I have paper from everywhere. And I apologize. Some of it you might be able to run out and buy at the stores today. Some of it you may not. And, um, but that's just the industry, we can't help that. I will tell you this is still available, available through Simple Stories. This was the uh, Gather Together set. And I wanna say it was only like $8 for the, for the kit. It was, I don't know, maybe eight pages. These, however, are just stragglers from October afternoon and jelly bean soup, I think. Um, but for me, because I have six children and there's always the potential of making six individual scrapbooks or scrapbook pages for them, I try to buy everything in bulk. So like I will buy 25 sheets because by the time I do um, something for my kids, then a project that takes the whole ream and I don't want to be, I will, I always tell people don't ever just buy one sheet. Um, so the minimum I will buy is six sheets and, um, and I'm not going to lie. There's sometimes I buy three packs of 25 when I really like a paper. So these are all just fronts to show you what you could do with the pumpkins. Um, they're not decorated by any means and ready to be passed away to, or swapped or anything. They're just so you get a visual. My leaves. Oh my gosh. I'm, I like everything to look realistic when I work. The leaves are just um, dies that I run through the die, and then all you do to make them look real is just like you would curl a ribbon, you take your bone folder or um, some sort of dull knife and you just curl them away or under, whichever you prefer. I always chalk them ahead before I do that because I um, it's harder once you curl them. And the other thing I'll do is I'll take a pencil and I will literally gently curl my leaf too because I mean it just makes if it's a has a 3d look then it just looks that more realistic I know crazy right so this is why I have 15 projects because I'm I'm, I'm a fart in a skillet I bounce around and you will figure that out if you have not already one more example to show you before I let you go and that is like I decorated this one for a witch um, by no means are these done. This is just to give you an idea. And actually I found this paper that had corduroy. So I think there's so many cool things you can be doing. You can even make a card out of this if you wanted. 
So, or you could just make it and put it on the front of a book that you actually have. It doesn't, if you don't like the chunky books. So, all right, I will um, leave a link below, not below, um, I'll send it in the picture of the Grand Mark because I'm not sure if you guys know what that cutting system is. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my YouTube channel. And I apologize. I really hope that as time goes by, these videos get better and get easier because this is like the fourth time I've started it. So have a great day, guys.